Welcome to my Atari ST nostalgia trip. Uh, my last look at KFA Basic got a bit out of hand, so for my own good, it's back to simple gaming for now for me. And that is also a good thing uh, looking back at the past, because uh, when I was young and I had spent some time practicing Basic and doing a bit of coding, I, uh, at that time also I soon felt it was time for something a bit more violent. So with violence in mind, that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. I'll go back to take a look at Barbarian, the ultimate warrior. Um, now the story of this game is that some evil sorcerer by the name of Drax has taken the beautiful princess Mariana um, and for some reason he feels that if anyone can defeat all his guardians uh, she is free to go and it's up on the player to take this challenge. Now of course I did not know that back then. Um, this game was released in 1987 and I had just turned 13 and background stories were not really my thing. They were just completely irrelevant. And to be fair with this game, I think the backstory was completely irrelevant to most of the people. Um, this was very, very much aimed at adolescents, uh, looking at the box art with uh, former Page 3 girl uh, Maria Whitaker, looking very, very sexy there. And um, if that didn't sell the game, then the other thing that truly sold it was the, ca um, the fact that you could chop your opponent's head off during playing, um, which also made the game illegal in Germany for being too violent. But yeah, I must say, even saying now, uh, chopping each other's head off still sounds kind of exciting. So let's not wait too long and let's just have a look at the game and see if I still like it. Um, now, as you can see, I already started the one. Um, uh, and I think I should be able to actually start some music also with F9. Uh, the music is not too impressive, but... Um, if you if you are in the game exactly, it will go into in the demonstration mode, and I have some music. Uh, so let's let's talk a little bit more before I start the game myself, um, because the first time I actually played Barbarian on the Atari ST, it was the Psychosis version, and the Psychosis version of Barbarian is a completely different game, which is yeah, honestly, it's all about graphics, and there's really no gameplay. It's just uh, looking at gameplay. That's a terrible game. Now this game is sort of the other way around. Uh, as you can see, the graphics are not that great. Um, it's a port from the C64 version, uh, which is also the first version of the game that I saw uh, when playing at a friend's house. And the graphics have a sort of 8-bit feel to it, especially the characters. They look a bit, yeah, a bit blocky, and uh, it, uh, every character is the same. They just use some different colors, so that's that's a bit disappointing. Uh, but this game, I must admit, it does give up. Uh, it does it, it does compensate this with great gameplay. It really is sort of hack and slash uh, gameplay, with also great sound effects taken from the movie uh, Red Sonja, um, including a super cool saw trick. And yeah, I think it has a lot of fast-paced action, which makes it kind of really great. Um, yeah, the music is not that great, but I don't think anyone would have the music because if you play the music, you don't have any sound effects during the game. I will just start the game with F1, which is a one-player game, and I'll press F9 to stop the music, and let's, let's start playing. Now, this, this roll is my least favorite move in the game, but unfortunately, you actually you need it. Um, you actually need it, because you need to sometimes knock your opponent off his feet to sort of prepare for, for some of the attacks that you can do on him. See, this is an annoying move. Uh, the, the, the opponent tends to sort of put you in the corner and uh, I'm just, come on, stop it, stop it. I just want to chop your head off. Exactly. Luckily, this first opponent isn't too smart. And I talked right through the nice sh slashing sound. But that, that's my favorite move of the game. And it's probably everybody's favorite move because if you pull it off, it, the, the sound effects are quite nice. It really has this sort of slash sound and the opponent falls to his knees and a nice bit of blood. The, the second opponent is a bit more difficult and he's actually able to, to dodge your moves and he sort of anticipates a lot better than other ones do. See, he's actually quite smart. You really, really should, you should get out of his way. If you, if you make a successful move, just, just, just move out of his way because he immediately does some sort of counter attack and now I want I want a little bit of room because uh, as you can see I also stopped talking for quite a bit because see and this is also the first opponent that actually tries to chop oh I almost got him there 
This is the first opponent that actually tries to... Oh, I shouldn't try to chop his head off because he's way too smart for that. He, he sort of sees it coming, he anticipates it. See? He, he just rolls away. Oh, I might even beat him this time. I had a, a few practice runs and I just couldn't pass, get this, get past this screen. And uh, I'm still see. And as soon as he, this, this opponent is a bit behind, he... Oh, and he almost beat me. I'm almost dead. See, he already beat me. Uh, for some reason, when I have to talk and play at the same time, I just can't get past this screen. When I was younger, I was a lot better at this, but for some reason, um, yeah, this gets a bit too difficult. I think I also don't have the moves really in my blood at the moment. I, I should practice a bit more, but yeah, this is not a long play or gameplay demonstration video. This this is just a look back, and yeah, the action is, is I get sucked into the action quite a lot, which makes it difficult to comment on this game. Um, especially the sound effects, I, I really like them. Um, I remember showing the movie Red Sonja for the first time, which was after I played this game, and I was really surprised to hear all these sound effects, especially this yeah stuff, in, and I was like, whoa, uh, really? <laughs> I, I had no idea that the effects came from that movie, but I think they used them really well. Um, and yeah, I think this is one of the best fighting games when it comes to fast-paced action. Um, even if this constant rolling is a bit annoying, um, the gameplay is actually quite good, um, and it's a lot more difficult than you than you think it is. Um, and to be fair, I'm not really used to playing this one in single-player game because I used to play it uh, in uh, in multiplayer with two players. Because yeah, if you're going to chop someone's head off, uh, it should be the head of your friend. It's it's it makes it a lot more fun. Um, and if you want to try someone to chop someone's head off, just just keep doing it with this opponent because he will get he will get stupid at some time. And I think this is the only opponent where you can actually just keep doing this, and at the end you will be successfully chopping his head off. And of course, see, I was going to say, of course, uh, this time when I say it, it won't work, but as you see, it did. Um, Yeah, what else can I say about this game? It, it's it's a pity the graphics have a bit of an eight feel to it because it, it I think the Atari ST was capable of a bit more, um, but yeah, it's still uh, quite an early game, and I think for for the period when it came out, it was actually not a bad one at all. I think this is sort of the cheat you you pull off at many players, but. Um, Come on. Many many people say that you can actually finish the game by just rolling into your opponent and keep kicking him. But actually, I found that this one is actually already quite smart. When you roll into much into him too much, he's already see he's already just jumping and dodging your moves. Oh well, it seems to be working for me right now. Let's just cheat. I want to get past his screen. Let's just try to be too skillful. Oh, come on, let me kick you. Oh, he kicks him in the belly, not in his butt, but oh, come on. Yeah, headbutts also work, that's nice. I really wanted to give someone a headbutt today, and you yeah, know, that's actually more successful than kicking. Oh, well, you have to be close enough though. And I, oh, I'm not paying attention now. See, as soon as I think I'm sort of winning, I think, yeah, I can. Let's just try one more time. Ah, at least I beat him. So at least I got past his screen. Um, now, because of all the blood and violence, this game was actually illegal in Germany, uh, where they have very strict laws. They say, no, no, this game, it will make people uh, more violent. But I must confess, this game never had any, it never put any thoughts in my head of, of going outside with a sword and just trying to cut people's heads off. Yeah, I I kept it strictly and purely only for my... Oh, come on. I did that only on computers. Even later, I... Oh, come on. Oh, that was... That was a close one. I actually made the wrong move there. Yeah, the nice, th nice thing about this... this This headbutt, head slashing move is—it only works if you are, 
Um, it only works if your opponent is not trying to do any other move. Otherwise, you might hit him, or you might even be able to... Oh, it's so difficult to talk and play at the same time with this game. It's so fast. It really is, and it's... it's oh, no, I'm, I'm holding the joystick wrong. I'm actually also found out, going back to the ST days, that actually... I'm not really used to using the joystick anymore for playing, which which makes it difficult. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Don't make me look like an idiot. Let me get past this screen at least, so I don't look such so idiotic compared to all these guys who just finished this game in one go in their YouTube videos. Come on, I don't want to... Be, thank you, thank you. I don't want to be the laughingstock of YouTube. Ah, I'm actually getting excited. That's that's how much action there is in this game. There's no... You get no break. It's constant fighting the whole time, all the time. I mean, even a two-player game, that would be the same, but at least... Yeah, you'll be playing against... I mean, actually, if you don't do something for a long, for a long time, the, your character starts complaining to you, like, what do you want me to do? He shrugs his shoulders, like, do you want me to do something or what? Yeah, but as you can see, the Guardians, they still look... Yeah, and this one also, see this constant rolling, that's... I think, I think that really is the only thing about this game that really annoys me all the time. Oh, come on. Yeah. He tried to chop my head off and I gave him a headbutt. But as you can see, as you progress, they also... They try to do this chopping move more, which means... Uh, if you were ever a slow player um, and, and yeah, not doing too much during the game, now you know you have to be constantly attacking, defending. You're constantly doing battle moves. It's, it's the only way to survive. And, and oh, come on. Exactly. I'm gonna just gonna cut his legs until he dies. Oh! Oh, come on! And I held my joystick the wrong way, so... I wanted to dodge this move by rolling into him and knocking him off his feet, and I was just too late, so... As you can see, there's no break. There's absolutely no break during this game. You have to just constantly go, uh, go at it and attack him. Um, actually, I didn't do too bad this time, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, which also means I probably should end the video by now. Uh, just yeah, quit while you're, while, you're, while you're ahead, because this is probably the furthest I'm going to get. Um, I need a lot more practice if I'm going to be uh, any better uh, at this game. And I, I must say, even if the game didn't age that well, I mean, it's not as engaging as I thought it would be. Uh, when you're playing for a while, it actually you just still get so sucked into the action and you just want to slash and, and, and kick and give headbutts and you feel motivated to try the different moves on your opponent to make it sort of a varied fight. Um, so, yeah, to get further, I probably need a lot more practice. Maybe I should just get a second joystick and fight friends over to to play this and chop each other's head off, because that's basically the most fun you can get with friends, I guess. Um, for now, I will just enter my name um, and, and end this video here. Because it's it's probably yeah it's probably best for me to stop. I also shouldn't uh, before you know it. I will be playing all night and and have to take back the remark that it didn't age well. Because I know this game will become very very addicting. Um, so having said that, I would like to thank everybody for watching and I hope to see you next time.